YouTube, hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through my IamViz final build with some tips and tricks for you if you're ever having to present to a large audience of infused data people. If you're entering IamViz, you have been through that feeder competition, you have produced a visualization for the judges. If you then go on to the final, you will be asked to present in front of 5,000 people. Uh, maybe more as the conference grows, but this was a real challenge for me and it really made me change how I was going to present the data to my audience. So in the feeder, this is what I did for the first competition. So I had this visualization that you hand over to a group of judges and they will go away and rate your piece of work. Uh, so in that I give the judges love, like entertainment, time for their work to the, so they could go on their own personal journey with this. So the idea with this visual with interpreting art was the judges go out and fill out a little quiz. They have to tell me what they think these images are. And after doing so, they then get a list of personalized results for that. However, in the final, I have this much different kind of, more different kind of view, much more as you would do a set of slides that we whip through to try and tell you a story along the way. So it's a very different format, and that is because of the presentation style that you have to do for the final. In, in, some, in short, in these cases, you are handing your visual over to a, a set of judges. In the final, however, you are the presenter. You are in control of what is being shown on screen. You can go as quick or as slowly as you'd like. So I developed this technique to help me uh, present the content, present that story in a very sequential kind of way so everyone was up to speed on this topic before and that everyone could follow along at the same pace. I'll give you another example. So this is a dashboard I've put together for a community project called Real World Fake Data. Uh, but if I was to present this dashboard to you, I may be starting up here explaining what these big numbers mean, while as you as an audience well, I've, I might be on the second one talking about timely responses to financial issues. You've already scanned through the entire document. You've gone through all these different options here. You've scanned this, scanned this map here. You've also done all these top, top products. You may have different questions about why, why California is a different color to the other. And you've already got your own questions, but doing that, you've ignored everything I've said, and you're going to be there waiting for me to get on with the job, get on to the actual insight that you're looking for. Whereas in this case, you can only analyze what I show you on screen. This is designed to be very quick, but only you can only go so far with how much you could read from the screen. The idea being that I can present it to everyone, everyone can read it, have the time to read it, and I can walk you through the important parts so we all can get on this journey together. Because in the final, you only have around about four minutes to present your work, which is not a lot, especially if you're trying to do quite a big story like this was. Um, does really help balance the time and get everyone on board with the work at the same time. A technique that wasn't really known about. Uh, I, I didn't know about it until I started trying. Uh, and really did blow some people away in terms of they'd never seen Tableau been used like this before, which is all part of what you need to bring for this final competition. For this piece of work, I have given you a tutorial. So on my Tableau public profile, if you come down, so this is the final biz, this is a tutorial that you can go and have a look at. So in here, I want to say special thanks to Adam Miko for helping me review this work. Uh, but this itself is a downloadable dashboard, but you also have all the slides and files to download as well. So you click here, It'll be taken to a Google Drive and you can download everything here uh, to go and rebuild the dashboard itself, which itself is a slide presentation, so you can learn this technique for yourselves. I will quickly walk you through how to do this. I'm not going to do all of it, uh, but I think it's quite, quite helpful to go and build this thing uh, yourself just to have a good understanding of how it works. Okay, so I'm in Tableau Public. You can do this in Tableau Desktop. The idea is that you will go and pick pick a file and we will go I've saved it on my desktop as a demo and you want to go first off to slide index 
So slide index is a really simple data set. So you can see here, it is just a list of all the slides that I'm going to present. There's 14 in total for this demonstration, uh, for this presentation, but I'm not going to sh do all 14. Okay, so we've brought on our data. There are a few little changes we need to make. So we want to move slide over as a dimension. I want to go and... So how this works is that we need to build a fake scatter plot to host our images on. So to do this, I'm just going to make two uh, X and Y axes from a calculated field. So bring that back. So if I go, if I call one row, I'm going to go like min2, min2, which is just saying, just show me the number two. I'm going to duplicate this and call that cot. Column. Okay, I'm going to bring these on to my slide. So I have a really rubbish scatter plot, uh, just showing a point two by two. I don't want to even show that point. So what I'm going to do is edit this axis so it's between naught and one. And naught and one. Okay. So now our, our mystery point is gone, which is fine. The thing we want to do here is to, under map, under background images, you want to pick slide index. So under this, you will be putting images on the scatter plot based on the slide. So you can add an image. I'm going to browse to my desktop, to my demo. So I'm going to pick slide one. I'm going to have this between just naught and one. Naught and one. If I click apply, you see that's come through, which is nice. Now under here, under options, you want to click this. You want to add for this only show when condition. If you add when slide, yep. Slide is one. Show that one. Okay. And let's click apply. It's gone, which is slightly scary, uh, but that's okay. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm then going to bring slide back into here and then click filter for one. And it didn't work. And then going to bring slide here. Yeah. So if we bring slide onto detail and I'm filtering the top for one, we'll get our slide coming through. So go back. So back in our map, under our background images, we can keep adding our additional slides. So slide two, between naught and one. So if I keep adding background images, so slide two, between naught and one, naught and one, apply. But I want to do this only show when, slide is two, okay. And click apply. Okay, so we've got the old image back. I'm just going to do one more. Slide is free. Uh, okay, so we've got some slides set up here between one and three. The trouble is that I want to be able to change my parameter, uh, change my slides. And I can do that using a parameter. So under here, I'm going to go and create a parameter. I'm going to, yeah, slide parameter, that's fine. Integer between that. I'm going to show the parameter. And then going to create a filter. So if I do slide equals slide parameter. true hit apply I'm going to remove the old filter because I don't need it so now if I change this to a slider you can see that if I change for slide 2 I get slide 2 coming out slide 3 get slide 3 which is great 
Okay, cool. So we've built this sheet is now like the are gonna be our background images for our slides. I can now go and hide these row and columns. Okay. And now I can build this out as a dashboard. So in this case, I'm gonna size my dashboard between, it's actually a fixed size, it was actually PowerPoint. So by 1600 by 900, and then I can bring the sheet in. So I'm gonna float my sheet, just because on the day it was easier. You don't have to remove padding around, around the sheet. So we hide that title, that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to do my layout and put, just change it under layout head, x is 0, x is 0, width is 16. Okay, it's 19. Cool. So now I have my parameter filter. I'm going to make that a bit bigger. So I have this coming up, and this is this annoying. So it still thinks it's a map. So what is happening here is if I scroll, it's going to zoom in, zoom out like you would zoom into towns and cities, uh, which I don't want. So the way to get around that, oh dear, <laughs> uh, oh dear, go back. So the way to get around that is I need to go under here. I need to go to map. You go to map options, and then sh allow pan and zoom. Turn that off. Turn off the show view toolbar, and turn off that. Just turn it all off. So now I can scroll, nothing changes, which is nice. But yeah, so I can still pad through between my different slides. So one thing is this is great. You've been able to take some images, make them into slides in, in Tableau, which is great. But the main point of Tableau is to show data. So we need to do that as well. So I can quickly show you using what's called a sheet selector. So it's a common technique that you may run into at some point. Uh, but if we bring in a new data set, so we bring in like some data, I put together some sample data. It's, it's not very interesting. So just a year in a metric. Okay, and we're gonna use this to make a very simple line graph, okay? But the trick here is that we want to only we want to bring this in to this dashboard. I want to show it here. So I can float, so I can bring this da this here onto the dashboard, but the issue is that it won't disappear. So if I go back to the first few slides, it's still there. I don't want that. So we're gonna need to make this disappear using a sheet selector. I only want this to appear on slide three. So I'm gonna go to my slide parameter and create a calculation calculated field, so I'm going to say slide parameter equals free and call this sheet selector okay and then pull that onto my filters and say true okay which is true go back it will still come through and you think why so we're on sheet two but it's still coming through so it now has switched over to false. This happened in a recent update. I don't quite know why, but to fix this, if you go over to custom value list and then in here, try two and get Grammarly to go away and then click okay. Click okay, okay, so it's disappeared. So we can verify if we're on sheet three, this comes up. If we're on sheet two, it goes away. You may notice that title is still there. So annoyingly, the titles don't go away. So you have to hide these titles. But if you want to bring in a title, you would build it like a sheet. You would build just a text file. Uh, no, you would build a sheet and just include text and then have it filtered out in the same manner. That about wraps it up. So this tutorial is available on my Tableau public profile. I'll leave a link in the description. You can also go and check out the final version of my build and download that to see how that was put together. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.